I'll be solving problem 5.4 in Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. So suppose that the magnetic field in some region has the form B equals kz x hat, where k is a constant. Find the force on a square loop, side A, lying in the yz plane and centered at the origin. If it carries a current I flowing counterclockwise when you look down the x-axis. So I have an image of that here. So first what we can do is we can take this image and just project it on, take this image and project it on the z y axis. And looking at the equation, we see that B is dependent on Z. So we can, we can look at this top half here. And we see that if Z is positive, then B would be positive, which means that B would be pointing in the positive X hat direction. Now, if you look at the bottom here, where Z is negative, we see that this would lead to a b pointing in the negative x hat direction. So we know that the current is going counterclockwise. Let's start with the let's start with the left and right sides of the loop. So if you look at this top portion here, we see that i is pointing in this direction and b is out of the page. Now we know that the formula for the magnetic force is F magnetic equals integral of I times DL cross V, where DL is in the direction of the current. So going back to this picture down here, we see that See that current is in this direction while magnetic field is in this direction. So if we do dl this cross v in the right hand rule, we will curl our fingers that way and we end up getting a force out this way. So I'll add that force here. Now if we move to this bottom portion of the loop, we see that we have a um, we see that we have a dl pointing this way and magnetic field pointing into the page. So here's dl, here's magnetic field, and if again we go dl cross b, dl cross b is in the right hand rule, we will see that the force is pointing in this direction. So you can draw that here. Now let's move on to this portion of the loop. So we have a DL pointing down and a magnetic field pointing out of the page. And if we go DL cross B using the right hand rule, we see that we get a force this way. Now we can move on to this last portion. Again, we have DL pointing down, but this time B is pointing into the page. Again, we do DL cross B, and we see that we get a force out this way. We can draw that here. Now it's important to note that when we go across each of these four sides. The only thing changing is the direction of the force. The only thing changing is whether or not a Z is positive or negative. And because of this, the magnitude of the force doesn't change. And we then see that the force on this side cancels with the force on this side. So we can cross these two out. And we also see that the force on this side cancels with the force on this side. And we can cross these out. 
So there's no net magnetic force due to this vertex because they cancel each other out. That leaves us with the top and bottom portion of the loop. So let's start with the top portion. Again, let me write down the equation for the force of the magnetic field. And the magnetic field. So first let's define what DL is for the top. So DL, we see that DL is in the it's going in the negative y hat direction. Again, where DL is in the same direction as the current. So we have an infinitesimal dy going in the negative y hat direction. We can then solve for DL cross B. So we have negative dy to y hat direction cross kz in the x hat direction. To solve this, we look at the value of y hat cross x hat. Using the right hand rule, we do y hat cross x hat. We see that we get negative z hat. So we get negative kz dy, the negative z hat direction, which is kz dy z hat. Now we substitute this into the integral for magnetic force. And we know that i, k, and z are constant. z hat is also constant because it always points in the same direction, the same magnitude. And the bounds go from y equals negative a over 2 to positive a over 2. And we solve the integral. And when we look at this image for the top portion, we see that z equals positive a over 2. And this is what we get. Now we can move on to the bottom portion of the loop. So again, let's define our dl. We see that this time it is in the direction of the positive y hat direction. So we have dy, the y hat direction. Now we can solve dl cross b. And again, from earlier, we have y hat plus x hat, which equals negative z hat. Now again, we substitute this into our integral, force due to the magnetic field. And negative k, z, i, and z hat are all constant. And y goes from negative a over 2 to positive a over 2. And we see that for the bottom portion of the loop, z is negative a over 2. And we get this for the bottom portion of the loop. So to find the total force due to the magnetic field, we would add the force on each of the sides of the loop. So we determined earlier that 
the force on the left and right sides of the loop cancel each other out. So we're left with only the force on the top due to the magnetic field, plus the force on the bottom due to the magnetic field. And for the top, we got I K A squared over 2 in the z hat direction. For the bottom, we got I K A squared over 2 in z hat direction. And we end up with I K A squared in the z hat direction.